features that someone has. But this is a great way, for example, on Fiverr to get out there and uh, get someone to listen to the podcast and uh, create um, uh, create a blog post around it. Or another way is a, is a great system called the rev.com, rev.com, which creates a full transcript of everything I do. So when I do, when I have the podcast and I go to rev.com and uh, rev.com and I create the captions, that will go on the video that is attached to the podcast. So we've put the video, they will have also captions. And then what we're going to do as well, I'm going to use the captions and the transcript that I receive as a blog post. So now I finally have also written content on top of the audio content that I've, that I've created. And then I can split and use this uh, written content as a mini post on social media during the week. So there are multiple ways where which you can use uh, uh, one thing, and it doesn't matter if you choose podcast or something else, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, I found podcast is the way, but you can do this from a video too if you don't want to do a to do a podcast. I personally loved what podcast gave to me. Uh, I wouldn't be able to have the connections and to have the reach that I have right now without the podcast. And with all that I did, it was the best organic strategy that I've developed, that I, that I, that I followed. Uh, there was nothing that gave me such a huge organic reach like a, a podcast, but it took time. It took time. It's not that I created a podcast because I didn't have, at, when I started a year and a half ago, I didn't have a big list. I mean, I had a few thousand people on the list. So I had already a few people that could listen to, but it wasn't the list that I have now. So uh, the more than it grows, the better The better as well it, it, it becomes too. So I hope this helps as to make you think about what are the ways you can uh, you can implement and how I'm running it behind the scene this incredible project which I absolutely love. The other thing which is important to consider and I think this is always the starting point which is uh, your target audience. Uh, your target you need to create a podcast which is uh, and you need to create content which is always in alignment to either your target audience. What do they want? Who do they want to hear from? What makes them click? And you can do a lot of tests on your social media by having your target audience there and ask them what do they want, who do they follow, who do they love to hear from, and then do the best you can to invite those guests. In particular, you want to find people that attract listeners to your show. You don't want to find an average guest. You find you want to find someone who's already followed, in particular at the beginning, because the reality is you need them more than they need you. So if you're creating a podcast because then you can help everyone that you know, you can give them a platform, guess what? It's not going to work. Why? Because if you have no downloads and no listeners and you are interviewing someone that doesn't have a following, it's a lose-lose. It's not even a win-win. It's a lose-lose because they get in front of nobody and you don't get to grow your podcast. So you want to find people that and build a relationship with people that have a, a larger following where if they share something, then they can create massive awareness for your show. And that's something that worked incredibly well by selecting carefully what kind of guests I'm going to have on the show. And then the other part is to also think about what else can you do with your show. So for example, something that we are now moving into is to going to release three episodes a week. Not even, not more, two, but three. Um, and now some people might be overwhelmed with one. We now have been releasing two episodes a week for months. So now we are moving it to three episodes a week. Where in one, I'm going to have the guest expert interview, which is someone who's already running a six or seven figure or eight figure expert business where you can learn from. Then I'm going to move to interviewing one of our clients. So then we can share the case studies. We can share what our clients are doing behind the scene. So that becomes awareness for us, the work that we do, and also give us exposure. Now that we have thousands of downloads, we give exposure, extra exposure to our clients. And then we're going to release the solo episode which is a solo episode that you will have with me, where I share something which is related to the topic of the week. So every week there will be a topic and that's where the client will be chosen. That's where the, ep the other episode and the solo episode will be recorded. That also will be part of the Facebook Live show that we are doing. So these are the different ways right now where we are moving forward. And the reason why I'm doing this, it is because, first of all, the experts allows me to create, to build a network for you to, to learn from other people. 
and uh, to keep this now variety of on, on the podcast of topics and uh, and voices. And then the other part, why am I doing the my client? Because then uh, ultimately I want you listeners to say, hey, I would love to buy from Simone. That's ultimately the goal is to build an audience and this audience will resonate with me and you guys will resonate with me. And therefore you will say, I want GTEx and Simone to help me grow my expert business. So that, and that will be a way for you to connect with amazing people that are in our community, listen to their stories, uh, what are their struggles and what are they doing right now to grow their expert business and by implementing the advice that we give them. And then the solo episode is um, to share my voice, to share my opinion, because ultimately I want to build a relationship with you listeners. And I found that uh, if I'm listening only to podcasts where I'm consistently listening to interviews, I am building a great relationship with the guest, but less with the host. And uh, I want you to have a great relationship with me. And I want to have a great relationship with you. So that's why I'm doing the effort of the solo episode. Now, is it going to be more work? Yes, that's going to be more work. Is it going to be more effort? Yes, it's going to be more effort. Hi, Ellen. Thank you very much for joining. Is it going to be more work? Is it going to be more effort? Yes, it is. However, it's going to work in the long term because uh, I'm uh, creating more content. I'm creating more episodes. I'm giving my clients more exposure. I'm sharing. Uh, um, I'm giving them a platform to share their expertise. And on top of them, on top of that, I will allow you to know what's the reality of GTEx and uh, what do we have to offer and uh, how we can help you. So that's why we are moving that direction. So. I, I I think I love to believe that I'm not stupid, that I know what I'm doing, and uh, there is a method to my madness. And some people say, "Oh, you're doing all these things." Well, I'm, I know what I'm doing, so <laughs> there is always a method, and I want to explain it to you so you can understand. I have nothing to hide. Actually, if you can take something from it and apply it to your business, great. Please do it. That's why we are here because that's why I create all this free content. So you can take it and use it for yourself. And then hopefully one day you will say, actually, right now it's time to work with Simone because I need more help. Great. Awesome. GTEx, me, we're here. Great. And then the other thing that I've learned from these 100 episodes is, uh, which is some of the most powerful things that I've learned from all the experts, is about the power of relationship. Uh, you can not grow your business in this industry by yourself. You need to have people that love what you do. You need to have people that recommend what you do. You need to have people where you can collaborate with. You need to have people that have your back. You need to have people that uh, they are there to support you because of who you are, but also that they play at a bigger level that you're playing. You know, it's easier to find people to support you when you reach a certain level. Because it's almost like everyone wants to be where you're at. Uh, they want to be with you. They want to be part of what you have created. They want to reap the benefits. Because I'll be honest, a lot of people have a second agenda. And they want to reap the benefits of your hard work and what you have created. That's why they will stick around with you. But also, you want to have people that are playing on a different game when you are not the best, but you are the worst. And that's what I'm attempting to do also with the interviews by building this network with people that are playing on a league that is even bigger than mine and using the podcast to reach out to them and to build a relationship to see is can we become friends or partners or can we maybe can they can become i can become their clients and i can become my clients i don't know what's going to happen but this is also really important to understand you want to have consistently people that are playing on a league which is a bigger than you. So that's why I'm really passionate about creating this show. And that's one of the benefits that I got from this show. And then uh, another thing that I got, uh, which was really powerful for me, uh, was uh, some of the learnings that I, I, can, I can share. And if I have to listen to the top three learnings, uh, I was scrolling up and down all the 100 episodes today. I was having a bit of a, you know, a bit of a soppy moment looking at all the episodes, all the guests I've interviewed. And um, um, it made me reflect about the learnings. I, I was asking myself, what did I learn from this episode? What did I remember from this interview? What did I remember about this person? And uh, I looked at, I could find three main distinctions in terms of learnings. One is, uh, uh, was definitely treat people well. Uh, 
I came by many, many interviews, in particular the one with the billionaire Jeff Hoffman. Uh, you can check it out, uh, billionaire the Jeff Hoffman and interview. And um, it's talking about how to treat people well. It's talking about how to manage people and lead people and getting to know them first. And I think that as growing our businesses, people skills are the most important thing that we can have because that's how we enroll new people. That's why how we get people to like us, to trust us. And that's how we deliver incredible value. And that's how we become fair and we build a great reputation as well. And we have people that have become loyal to us and to our cause. That's number one. Then number two is... Um, the power of uh, being clear about what you're doing. Without clarity and just winging it, it ain't gonna work. Or it's just gonna, it's my work, but uh, you never know what worked. And it's gonna take longer. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's gonna take a lot of effort. It's gonna take a lot of hassle. So know what you're going to do. And if you don't know it, ask someone. Get a coach, get a mentor, and get someone to help you. And then the other part is... Uh, to make sure that you don't do everything by yourself. This was a huge, huge learning that every single guest said, don't do everything by yourself. Have someone helping you out. In particular in your business, it's easy to think that just because we are experts, we need to do everything by ourselves. Just because we are consultants, we need to do everything by ourselves. But if you then divide the business in different areas, where you have your sales, your marketing, your finances, operation, delivery, then uh, uh, you will see that there are different moving parts of the business. And you will start wanting to outsource, delegate, and automate every moving part that you can so that you can uh, spend time into your zone of genius. If it's uh, coaching and speaking, spending more time there. If it's selling, spending more time selling. If it's uh, um, uh, growing the brand, spending more time there. If he's uh, uh, delivering, uh, spending time there. If he's uh, dealing with people and leading people, spending more time there. So you know and you will find what is your zone of genius by going through it. Uh, so this, don't do it by yourself. This is one of the biggest learnings that, that I got. And then the bonus learning is don't be afraid to sell. Go out there and make yourself known. Because if you're not able to, if you're not willing to Shout how great you are and to get out there and to create those opportunities for you. Then I'm sorry. I gotta say I'm sorry. Uh, nothing is gonna happen or very little is gonna happen because people are looking for a leader. People are looking for a leader. People are looking for someone that says, I know my greatness and I can help you step up into your greatness. That's what people are looking for. And if you're not able to communicate that clearly, if you're not able to be assertive in that communication, if you're not able to show how great you are with your testimonials, with your case studies, with your programs, with your services, and show people that you care by following up uh, uh, consistently with them, then uh, uh, you have already lost the game. I mean, you can make a living and that's fine, but I don't want to talk to people that are just there to make a living. I want to talk to people that are there to build large businesses, and whatever the industry is, whatever is it for them, because that's what I'm passionate about. I mean, uh, my goal is to be a, to, to GTEx to be a billion pound business. So, got a lot of work to do. Absolutely, <laughs> we're very far from it. Absolutely, we are reaching the seven figures. Okay, so right now, first the seven figures first, and then we are going into the into the into the eight figures, and then we are going to the nine, then we're going to the billion, and so on. But that's what that's my personal goal and uh, it's gonna take time yes it's gonna take time maybe i don't know i'm open for that to happen tomorrow whenever it's gonna happen but i'm willing to put the work in day in and day out to make sure that this happens and uh, to do that i need to step into my greatness i need to show how great i am and i need to show what kind of great results we can give to our clients and that's the same thing that you want to do uh, for your business and for yourself because otherwise if you don't believe in yourself no one else is going to believe in you if you don't believe in your own dreams no one else is going to believe in your dream and i know i'm going very personal development that's uh, less tactical like it's usual to explode your expert biz show but <laughs> you know if you don't have the mindset right i can give you the best strategies and you're not going to do anything with them so get the mindset right and uh, get out there, get this uh, media, get up here on media, 
Look at growing your personal brand. These are the keys that are going to make the difference in your business. And let me tell you, uh, in fact, right now, this is the four things that we are teaching in our courses to have the right strategy, to have the right marketing plan. So then you get known to have the high end signature program and uh, to have the right pitch that attract me media and the right clients. So while you have these four things, then things are happening in a bigger level. At the beginning, you just need to have a few clients and uh, you need to know your service. You need to know who you're talking to, but you don't need a lot of fancy thing. But if you're going to grow and scale, then also you need to talk about the team and the people that you're putting in place. And the strategy comes crucial in there. And your personal brand and how well people know you and trust you, that is crucial. So these are my biggest learning. I hope you enjoyed my ramble. That was, uh, I literally had no notes or anything in front of me. I was reflecting and freestyling <laughs> about uh, what was my journey. And uh, I think it was a useful process for me to put uh, into, uh, into practice <laughs> and to reflect because, you know, sometimes we can uh, be so busy. That we learn, we learn, we learn, we learn, we learn, we learn, and we have experiences, but then we stop and reflect on those experiences. We don't create this time. And uh, I'm glad I was able to have this time with you. Uh, and you have been a part of this journey. Thank you very much for listening to our episode. Thank you for being part of our 100 episodes. So here is my, here's my gift for you. There is a link in the show notes. And the link will have, uh, I'll give you access for 30 days, completely for free, for all our courses and trainings that we run. So 30 days, completely for free, for our co online courses and trainings that we run. You click the link, you will be able to join, and then you can decide after the 30 days if you want to stay on. Great, it's only $47. Or otherwise, if you want to cancel, no problem, cancel it. But of course, you will love to stay on because you will love the communities there and the courses that we deliver. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everyone for watching and listening. Uh, Elaine, thank you very oh, Thank you. I appreciate your comment. It was very inspirational. Thank you. Love your freestyle. <laughs> I might do more freestylers like this. <laughs> thank you very much for being part of this journey. Um, this uh, will not happen without you, without you listening, without your support. And uh, even if I don't know you and uh, you didn't never tell me that you were listening, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Actually, come forth. Really appreciate it. And also, I will run now for these few weeks. Uh, I will run a few campaigns to get this podcast now to celebrate the 100 episodes. So check your inbox. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you didn't get a selling from the state checklist. Check, get a selling from the state checklist and then check your inbox for some uh, great uh, giveaways and offers that you're going to make uh, this week to celebrate uh, this incredible milestone. Thank you very much for listening and I'm looking forward to seeing you next episode and always remember that together we grow exponentially. See you next time. Bye.